Hello! I hope this is working. It is. Welcome to Battle Block Theater. I'm Ribs. I'm gonna play it. I'm gonna be playing on normal mode. This little guy with all your favorite Using stuff. this stuff to start. Unfortunately, this is saved game, so you can't see all of the beginning. As you can see, you have a lot of guys, so quickly, I have to be at the main menu. Uh, derp. Alright, there you are. Good evening, boys and girls, ladies, mmm. And a gentleman, turn the lights down low and shut your faces as I wrap you in the cozy blanket of a story. A story as heartwarming and soft as a mother's kiss. Or is it? Shh. Once upon a time, there was a boat. Now, this wasn't just any boat, children. It was a ship. A ship full of friends. Hundreds of friends. Best friends, one and all. A veritable friendship it was. Get it? But it wouldn't be very ladylike of me if I didn't mention the most noteworthy friend on board. Hattie Hattington. Say hi to Hattie. Hattie was like king friend of Friendship Kingdom. Best friend to one and all, and the walking definition of handsome gentleman. Now, one fine morning, Hattie and Pal set out for a new, exciting adventure. What fantastic! Fantastic wonders would they discover this time? Perhaps they'd come across a scary ghost ship. Perhaps they'd find an island made entirely of candy. Perhaps they'd meet a band of scary, swashbuckling pirates and join forces to find an island made entirely of candy. Who knew? But it didn't matter. So long as they were together, there were smiles to be had and adventures to be shared. Now today, twas a day like any other adventure day. Spirits were uncrushably high. Everyone was singing and dancing and having a jolly time. When suddenly the ocean was all like surprise. Surprise! And a huge, massive storm brewed out of nowhere. Boy, that was quick. And there was thunder. Boom! And the lightning. Boom! And the wind. Boom! And like that, it was over. Is everyone okay? Said Hattie. I don't know what I'd do if I lost even one of you. Hattie continued. But the eye of the storm is very misleading, children. Never turn your back on it because the ocean was all like, psych! And it came back even bigger this time. Twice as big. As if Poseidon himself extended his hand in friendship and they spat in his mouth. Boy, he was pissed. He was mad. And the rain came down like a shower of Bullets, ah, ah. And the floorboards were buckling and creaking and breaking and pieces of their ship were raining down like shards of broken dreams. And then Reginald comes upstairs and he's all like, I say, gentlemen, I do believe we're in quite a spot of bother. And everyone else was like, really? What tipped you off, genius? And then Hattie was all like, hey, be nice. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Huge giant waves thrashed the boat to and fro, fro and to, carelessly sprinkling friend after friend into the cold, unforgiving abyss of the deep deep, dark ocean. Everyone was screaming like, help me! Splash! Splash! And there was this huge whale like, and made it super scary. And I think there was a shark. Yep, there he is. Oh, God. And then Hattie was all like, hold on to your butts. Land ho! And bang, bang, bang! Smash! A shipwreck as foretold by their fate books of fate. And while it seems like the end, this is merely the beginning of another fantastic journey for the brave crew of the SS Friendship. And that's one reason why I love this game so much. So now I'll actually get to be playing. I think you should pick cool and good things, and not dumb and stupid things. Again, I'm going to be playing this on normal mode. Probably not going for all A++. Wow. Wow, I screwed this up already. Wow. Proud of myself. Broke the game already. Gems of three will set you free. So it's been a bit of time since I've played normal mode. You'll have to forgive me if I like stop talking and generally forget what is going on. And if I just go exploring, because 
I have a tendency to do that. But for now, just going to get through normal mode. Probably fairly quickly for the first like chapter. Absolutely wonderful. And now on to scene two. Instead, I'll just kill myself. So why not? This is the same mode. I feel like I'm missing something up there now. And it was probably just... yeah. Yep, that was good use of time. guy who... Okay, I guess we're skipping that yarn. I would have called over the boat and gotten the yarn safely, but on the right track now. someone was impatient. From the gift shop, on to the next act. I already forgot which button Trust pressed enter. You'll be fine, so long as you find the gems and don't die. Good luck! Now we're getting a little trickier with placement. Not that bad. I'm just going to ignore that cat, cause... Oh my god. Yay. Never 
was one. I don't know why I just stand on those blocks half the time. Maybe because some of the setups they have later. This is just getting pathetic. Thank you. That is not a secret there. Okay. I don't understand why that cloud is there. I don't understand why that boat is there. Killing me. Glad I'm not playing in speed mode yet. Garden was over here. He's pretty fun to play with. Avoid the exit so we can get the last gem. There we go. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Good job, prisoner number five, two, three, two. I have a prisoner number. I apologize for that. There was a phone ringing, and it was my phone. And is this a secret? No. Usually, if there's two different colored blocks next to each other, it could possibly be a secret. Like over there. That, that looks suspicious. Oh, not. Oh my At least not through that way. I never got a checkpoint. Wonderful. Anything. Grab the checkpoint. Be very careful. Very careful. That and done. Inconceivable. That's Done. To the third, and then the finale. I would love to tell you where they put the gems, but I'm not gonna. Oh, Jeff. Ooh, there's one of these guys. So that means there's a secret somewhere in this level. Probably down there. 